What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got something extremely interesting to talk to you guys about. There are some rumors floating around that we could be getting a new PlayStation console very, very soon, possibly by the end of this year, which uh, is absolutely crazy, right? Like that sounds insane. It feels like the current gen consoles just came out, but when you really think about it, it was almost three years ago. Like it's hard to believe it's been that long. And uh, you know, typically the lifespan of a console is around like, you know, seven, years or so so uh, you know it's about the halfway point and uh, that's you know fitting because a lot of people are calling this new console the PlayStation 4.5 so uh, keep in mind that this is not confirmed by Sony yet this is not set in stone this is not a hundred percent fact it's just there are a lot of rumors floating around a lot of the big kind of like gaming news outlets like NeoGAF and Giant Bomb and all this kind of stuff are talking about it and it seems like it could be a, a pretty cool idea now uh, like I said people are calling it the 4.5 because it's not really like a, a fully upgraded new console like we get every decade or so. It's supposed to be called the PlayStation Neo. And what it's gonna be is it's basically just a PlayStation 4 with a better processor speed, better memory bandwidth, and better graphics capabilities. So basically what it's meant to do is support 4K gaming. So it's not an entirely new console. It's not gonna be an entirely new line of games and everything like that. It's just a graphical upgrade, which uh, kind of makes sense. Cause I mean, if you think about it, computer opponents upgrade and get better and more powerful every single year, sometimes multiple times a year. Consoles don't have that ability. They, if they come out every like seven to eight years, they're always gonna end up way behind the curve. So uh, it looks like PlayStation may be trying to fight that. So uh, just some details of these rumors. Apparently there will be no Neo only games, all right? so. There's still going to be PS4 games. Like, if you have a PS4 now, you're still going to be able to play every PS4 game for all of eternity. But uh, there are going to be games where they have, like, a base mode for playing the normal PS4. And then they also have a Neo mode where you can play with the updated graphics and take, you know, advantage of those upgraded components and stuff like that. Uh, they also said that current games that are already out, so, like, for example, Black Ops 3 will have the option to be upgraded through patches and hotfixes to be able to be Neo compatible. So if this Neo ends up being true and it comes out later this year, you could, you know, Black Ops 3 and Treyarch could put out a patch to make it upgradable and, and kind of look better on the Neo, which is kind of cool. Uh, they also said that publishers will be barred from offering special features or DLC to one type of console. So you aren't gonna get discriminated against if you just have the normal PS4 or the you know PS4.5. They're all gonna be the same thing. It's just, again, the PS4.5 is gonna have better graphics. And then finally, most importantly, both regular and PS Neo users will be able to play with each other. So it's not gonna split up the player base and make connections worse and you know offer fewer people online and stuff like that. So uh, all of this is rumored to go into effect by October 2016. Apparently, uh, game publishers are going to have to, you know, publish their games with like a, a regular mode and a Neo mode. And uh, they even said that like the console may not even be out by then. They just they want all the game publishers to have that ready for the release of the console potentially, you know, later this year, early next year. I'm not sure when it would be, but I don't know. I, I found this kind of interesting. Again, it's a rumor. It, it's not 100% confirmed. PlayStation has not announced this, but uh, I don't know. It's I, I think it sounds kind of cool. It, it's something that if you already have a PlayStation 4 you're not really gonna be missing out. You're still gonna have access to everything. It's not like this is something new you're not gonna have, but uh, if you wanna upgrade, you want you know better quality games, you wanna be able to play on your 4K TV and have it look amazing, then uh, that would be pretty cool as well. I don't know, I, just, I think this is kind of a cool idea. I'd be interested to see if it, uh, you know, if it works out. I, I can't wait to find out more about this. And then I'd also be interested to see what Xbox does, if this ends up being true. Are they gonna come out with an Xbox 1.5? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Check out one of these two videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out, guys.